One day, you, Christina, and I were on a walk to earn points and uh, rekindle our friendship. And we um, were talking about the Body and Soul program, among other things. And we're talking about what our particular personal goals were for the program. And um, I had come up with this sort of vague, wishy-washy goal because I didn't want to admit my real goal to myself because it's been a lifelong desire. And for some reason, it, w it was such a block that I couldn't put it in writing. Uh, but on our walk together, I came out with it and I said, well, my real personal goal is to finally, for the first time in my life, take piano lessons. To which you responded, well, I'm taking piano lessons. So it was like right there, dropped in my lap, the name of a piano teacher, the phone number. I had no more way to hide. And so I called her. I've been taking lessons now ever since July. And um, it's thanks to Body and Soul. This is one of the first few churches that we've gone to since we moved here. We basically just put in a Google search for accepting churches and found some lists. We just decided to come back and it's been good this week too. My wife and I, we lit the, the, uh, the retreat last year uh, at Epworth, so that was really nice and again, being part of the Epworth and bringing up my marimba music to share with you as, a, my, as my cultural background. So that's also very nice. I started the Jamming Methodist because, um, oh, it's both for selfish and for altruistic reasons, I guess. I'm not really a performer. I don't really care to be on a, you know, stage somewhere in some secular environment just, you know, uh, doing my stuff. I, I like to do it in community. Um, I prefer doing music that is interwoven into um, like the, the worship of the, of the community and kind of in support of, of our uh, kind of communal experience. The thing that I always miss when I leave Epworth and I go to other churches and I don't realize it until I miss it is the quality of the message that's given to us every Sunday. And it doesn't matter whether it's by Odette or whether it's from Andrea. I mean, even our, our interns, our um, people who are retired from the ministry, everyone who stands up in front of us has something thoughtful and meaningful and original to say. Ministry, you think of yourself as being the person who is ministering. You are doing something for someone. But as in the Stevens ministry context, almost every act of what we would call ministry is something in which you're also helping yourself grow um, in faith and, and especially um, becoming closer with the members of the community and understanding what it means to be in community. One I want to mention, because I don't think it was perceived as a ministry by others, is our attendance at Woodminster uh, Musicals. Wonderful way for intergenerational opportunity and fellowship, and it's been going on over 10 years now, and I average uh, getting our, you know, our group over 160 tickets a season now. I'm constantly amazed when I come by Epworth uh, during the week. Uh, any time of day, there's something happening here. Uh, when I come in, there's always a group arriving or there's a group leaving. An important part of ministry is to uh, be involved in the local community. Uh, other people have spoken about involvement in the larger community and involvement beyond our borders and whatnot. And those are all important. I think they're all very significant. But uh, uh, Reaching out to our local community in a, uh, in a helpful, supportive, encouraging kind of way, I think is really exciting. One of my things that I really like to do is to prepare spaces and to prepare groups of people to, to organize around the needs of not only us, but the people coming after us. And that's an area in which I've been really able to work well with Chris Edenborough was that he's also about that. And so that means organizing around the classrooms, organizing the church itself, organizing programs. Um, and so I like working with all these different people at church that have not only the vision for us now, but then where we want to go.
We need something that's tribal in our life. You know, the good thing about the tribe is that you were surrounded by people who you knew were your people and who would uh, protect you and who would also kind of scold you and bring in and kind of pull you in as need be. Um, this church, you know, the church council and building beloved community and the entire process, you know, at some point I realized that this is my tribe. You know, this is my group. I will, you know, I will die here and people will mourn my passing and I will mourn the passing of others and I will embrace new lives that come into our community. So the spirituality is really important, but the aspect of community is really important also.